questions that people ask that you want to answer. Oh my god, how would I remember that? I'm not... <laughs> They wanted to know a question. They had questions I'd for you. I have to write it down. I, I can't remember well, what people Well, then this will be your first video on that channel. Oh, it's going to be my first one, but I can't remember what people are asking. Yeah, just all well, your business. What is it called? Uh, my business is Exit Art. And where did you come up with the name? Very random. I was on the phone with my husband. He needed the name of... We were... We needed to make a decision whether to do it or not. So I said, go ahead and do it. Have them send us the lease. And he said they want the name on the lease. And I looked up at, I think, an exit sign. And I said, name it Exit Art. Cr I was busy. Uh-huh. <laughs> so in order to start a business at this That's point. all you really needed to do. Is no, no. But how much money would that involve to start a business of your own, do you uh, think? I hate to think about it. I just think ignorance is bliss. But you better have quite a bit. Well, there are certain people that open up like a taco shop and then that becomes the Chipotle, you know? True. So. That's true. You so just, idea, if you have a great idea. If you have a great idea and you can get like a, a little startup money in some way and you really don't. Probably the best thing is to not need to make a lot of income when you start up your business. It's probably the best thing is to have some money. So do it before, prior to having children. Yeah, I did. I had a one-year-old and a four-year-old when I did it. But you know what, why I did it then is because they were young enough that if they wouldn't remember like the big house and all the fancy things they had, I figured that I could get away with it. I'd take them to the beach and everything would be happy family and they wouldn't know what they left behind. They wouldn't remember. Good. Okay. That's smart. Were your career goals? Career goals. I was just a worker bee. I was like a hard work. I worked hard in a business that I don't even like to think about. Went to hairdressing school. For how long? Uh, however long it takes. It's not very long, like a year or so. So why didn't you pursue that? Well, I went to work for a hair salon that was a really nice hair salon in Pittsburgh. And um, it was when perms and uh, having your hair lightened and your hair permed was very in. Mm -hmm. And I saw, and it was an expensive salon. And I saw people's hair being like really ruined. And I didn't want to be the one like saying, that'll be $120. And your hair is all frizzy and falling out of your head. Well, that's what they wanted a frizzy blonde. Yeah. So I just, I didn't really, I, not that I don't like to take responsibility because I'm a pretty responsible person, but I really didn't want to be that personal with somebody that I would be like really like destroying their hair. Mm -hmm. It just, it, it, I was good at like cutting basic hair. I just, I just didn't, I started working then for the salon and I um, had a different position and I really liked what I did a lot. Makeup? Makeup and, um, and whatever. I sold hair care products and cosmetics and I did makeup and um, jewelry and things like that. And I really liked that part of it better than um, being a hairdresser behind the chair, kind of working on people's hair. Ruining lives. Ruining lives. Because like a lot of times people like Lorraine, when she goes to the salon, she'll take a picture of somebody and she'll want a, the hair to be just like their hair. But everybody's hair is so different that it's hard to give people exactly what they want. So I don't know, just, I just decided. But then I had to quit there because I was married and I uh, wanted to get a divorce and I didn't make enough money, so I had to quit. And you got a job where? I got a real job. A job I got a job working for a big company and... Um, what was your position? I was a uh, district manager in the end result. With no management. college education? No college education. I was a really hard worker. I made them believe that uh, generally you did have to have a college education. How many females had that position? Very few. Very few. Sometimes, but very few. I was just a very hard worker. And I was smart about how to run a business. Not that I am so much today, but, but I, um, I was good at, at what I did. And I try to make it fun for people. So if anyone has any questions for you, you'll answer them mm -hmm. down below.
or somebody else will answer them for me. Or I could answer them tomorrow. Well, that's what we're going to do. All right. Okay. They like your advice. Yeah, I was thinking about that, you know, about people wanting advice from other people. The trouble is, is that, you know, you do things in your life kind of, like, I wasn't ever so much asking for people's advice in my life. I would just look at people that I wanted my life to be like theirs, and I would try to emulate them. That's what I did. I would look at the person in the neighborhood or down the street or whatever, and that seemed to be what I saw myself doing. But now in retrospect, the people that I most admired have not necessarily been necessarily the most successful. Some of them have gone bankrupt, some of them have had divorces, some of them have had problems. So, you know, everybody, regardless of how they appear, maybe won't have the perfect life. So you just have to, like, do the best you can. But I would look for, like, more I would look for, like, a role model of somebody that would think, yeah, that's, that's what I want. I want my own business or I really like the idea that they can do whatever they want because, you know, no Who's button. your role model? Who's my role model now? You. You're my role okay, model. Okay, who's your real role model? Mm, like, I really admire certain people that other people don't maybe admire as much. Like, I think, not that I even like Martha Stewart, but, like, I really admire someone like Martha Stewart, that she's been able to do so much and create so much. I mean, not that she's necessarily creating it herself, but under her. Have you ever watched her show? No. Angie's I, told me funny things about it. Like, she'll have guests come on, mm -hmm. and, like, they'll have showing her something that they do, and she'll always end up doing it better than them and in a faster time and make them look stupid. And it's really funny because when you're, like, kind of a bitch like that, you're allowed to be a bitch because you're just good at whatever you're doing. Right. Well, that's, I think, why I admire her. I think that she's done, like, so much. What on earth was the judge or the people thinking when they sent her to prison, somebody that creates so many jobs and so many tax dollars and just has created so much for people to keep Kmart alive or whatever companies have her product in their stores. It gives them a certain credibility and for inexpensive product. They just wanted to make an example of her. I guess so, but I, I to me that's, that's, that's what's 